Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. When you're a kid, it's the presents. When you're a kid, the best part of Christmas and what you look forward to the most are the presents. But I've talked to a lot of adults about this, and the part of the season they most enjoy is the music. There's something infectious, infectious, something deeply moving about the music of Christmas. This time of year, I don't find myself walking through the stores humming along with the music coming from hidden speakers somewhere. But at Christmas, well, the music of Christmas somehow reaches inside of us and touches our hearts. It fills us with joy and wonder at our Savior's birth. Maybe you've heard of Christmas in July, and I think, if nothing else, that phrase is an invitation to remember the impact of Christmas throughout the year and to celebrate the coming of Christ among us all through the year. So for our time together this week, I want us to look at some of our most beloved Christmas hymns. The stories behind them may enrich our faith and help us to honor our Savior always. We begin with, the first Noel. What's your favorite part of the Christmas story? Some like the manger scene tableau, others the shepherds going with haste to see the baby, and still others ponder the innkeeper and his role. But my favorite has always been the angels telling the news to the shepherds. I'm captivated by all heaven's excitement and exuberance at what God was doing. It was so wonderful. It couldn't be kept in. They were so full of joy. They just had to tell someone, anyone. And and there were those shepherds right there. And that's where the first Noel begins. Noel means a joyful shout expressing exhilaration at the birth of Christ. And right from the first, the song seems to pick up that theme, and we sense the excitement that bursts forth with those angels. And then everything goes wrong. You see, no one knows who wrote this carol, and indications are that it dates to sometime before the 1500s, making it one of our oldest Christmas carols. In those days, there were few Bibles around, And even at that, most people couldn't read. So the common person felt the joy of Christmas, but sometimes got the story a bit mixed up. That's why in verse 2, the shepherds begin following a star, even though the Bible never says anything about a star with the shepherds. But perhaps that's what makes this carol so endearing. It was written by a common person, a person who wasn't a scholar, but a person like you and me, touched and exhilarated by joy at the birth of Jesus. The first Noel is also connected to the tradition of the Yule log. The Yule log was a piece of wood that had been hollowed out and filled with spices and oils. On Christmas Eve, it would be placed on the fire to burn during the 12 days of Christmas. As they lit the Yule log, families sang the first Noel and marked the beginning of their celebration. While we may not have a Yule log anymore, the song still burns brightly in us and ignites our joy. Finally, there's this. Some believe the word Noel is a contraction of the phrase, Now all is well. Indeed, now and always, all is well. Jesus is born. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.